What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the new feature that Squarespace just released, background art, and whether you should or shouldn't use it in your next project. So Squarespace just released that new feature background art and if you edit a section and then go to the background tab, we have the image in the video, but now we have this new art tab. And I'm gonna go over kind of like the basics and then I encourage you to go in and uh, just play around with all of these specifics. So basically there's different presets available here and then within each style there's uh, three presets. So uh, if I click one of these, it'll give me a certain look, and then you can toggle between these predefined presets. If you want to edit it more specifically, then you can click that button there, and it'll take you uh, to edit like more of the details of the design. So for example, on this style, you can change the shape into different um, preset options there. You can change the colors as well. Um, to whatever you want them to be. Same with the background color you can customize. Uh, you can change the scale of the images, small or really big. You can change the number of images. You can add filters, which look pretty bad, so I wouldn't recommend that. Um, and uh, it just gives you a lot of like different options. You can add a wave, so it adds a little bit of animation to it. Um, so you can go in there and play with all of these different features as long as you select one and then click on this like edit button. So you can play with the different uh, designs and go through the different presets. And then you can also click in here and edit. Um, and they all seem to have kind of like unique styles to them. Like for example, this one, it, it has that subtle wave effect. This one scrolls across the screen. This one has a mouse cursor follow effect. So if you go to motion, you can turn on follow cursor. Uh, and then turn up the follow cursor speed. Uh, and as I move the mouse around, you can see the blob of light is following the cursor. So, uh, and then this one down here, uh, it's just more of a gradient. This one is like blob shapes and has a parallax effect as well as they just kind of organically move around the section. And then this one is a bunch of boxes. You can do small boxes or big boxes, and they seem to just have kind of like a wave motion. So um, that is the new background art panel. Again, I encourage you to go in here and play with all of the different settings and kind of see what each one has to offer. For this first one, it looks like they're eventually gonna have a custom image that you can upload, but I tried it and right now it's not working yet. Uh, so that might be a future thing that they're going to be adding. So after taking a look at this background art feature, I'm kind of just left with the question, why? Why did Squarespace take the time to develop this? Why did they think we needed this? I can't think of any use case where I would put this on one of my client sites. If you guys have any ideas for how you could incorporate this into a website, please let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can glean some inspiration from you guys. But as of right now at this moment, I'm pretty disappointed in this feature. I don't really get it. And I hope that Squarespace starts allocating their time and resources towards improving the platform, fixing all of the bugs that we've been asking about for so long, rather than developing pointless features like this. So again, if you guys can let me know what you think they might have been thinking in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you guys. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.